and welcome to another GRE video. I'm Alice and today we are continuing on our journey through verbal discrete questions on the verbal section of the GRE. If you have missed any other videos in this series, do feel free to click the playlist right there to get the rest of those. Today we're going to be tackling a more difficult question, the triple blank of a medium difficulty. So there's going to be a lot of moving parts and we will jump right in. So because this question is going to be so long, you want to keep in mind that you can read and reread long questions. Remember that every single blank is a distinct question. Even if you have trouble with time management, you don't have to be that anxious because it's almost like you are going through three separate questions in the same one. When you're actually going through all of the sentences, keep in mind that a lot of times you will have to work backwards. We saw that in the last example and we'll see that again here. A lot of times, especially in a question with multiple parts, the information that you really need to answer the question is going to be in the second half of the sentence or even in the second sentence if you have multiple sentences. What you want to recognize is how the blanks relate to each other and how you can use the information given, perhaps after the blank, to help you answer the one previously. Let's take a look at the example for today. This says, Richard M. Russell said 52% of the nation's growth since the Second World War had blank invention. He said, blank research, the government's greatest role in assuring continuing innovation is promoting a strong modern patent office. Unless we can blank original ideas, we will not have invention, Mr. Russell said. Speculating on the state of innovation over the next century, several inventors agreed that the future lay in giving children the tools to think creatively and the motivation to invent. So feel free to pause and reread it yourself, but we will break it down a bit. So the most important thing here is obviously to note the main idea, which is invention. Everything here seems to point to the idea that invention is quite important. Here, I think the key idea is this, which is we want to give children the tools to think creatively and the motivation to invent. Now that itself is not the main idea, but it does tell us what the whole stance of all of the different blanks and the whole paragraph is about. It's about making sure that we continue to invent, right? We want our future, our children to think creatively and to to continue to invent. Looking at each of the blanks, for blank number three, we have this keyword, which is unless. Unless is one of those negative transition words that I also talk about in another video, but this indicates that we have a contrast between two parts of a sentence. Here we have a contrast between we can blank original ideas and we will not have invention. We need to do something to original ideas to protect invention. We also have this idea that the government should be involved and that its greatest role in assuring continuing invention is patents. Here we are highlighting that the greatest role in continuing innovation, meaning that we want to, as we said earlier, push more innovation and create an environment where that is really fostered. As you can see, the most information from these set of sentences is at the end. So unless we can blank original ideas, we will not have invention. And this last sentence is really key to nailing the main point of this whole paragraph. Speculating on the state of innovation over the next century, several inventors agreed that the future lay in giving children the tools to think creatively and the motivation to invent. So a really strong protection of this desire and the tools to invent and create new things. Because 
most of our information comes from that last sentence, it makes sense to start from that last blank. As you can see here, if we just look at the first two sentences, it's a little bit hard to figure out what kind of word we want for each blank. Because we have so much more information for the third blank, we can start with that one. We want creativity and invention, and we have three answer choices for this blank. Evaluate, protect, and disseminate. So remember, we were talking about having patents for original ideas and we have this idea that we want to continue innovation. We want to protect creativity and we want to allow people to invent. If we want more invention, we have to not evaluate original ideas because that means to figure out if they're good or bad. That doesn't really have to do directly with invention. That's sort of part of the process of invention itself. The other choice is B, protect. This makes sense because the rest of the paragraph is talking about offering patents, which of course is about protecting original ideas. And if you give patents and protect those original ideas, people can profit off of them, they can allow people to think more creatively and give them that motivation to invent, which is what the very end of the sentence says right there. The third option here, disseminate, doesn't really make sense either because we're not really talking about sharing ideas, we're really talking about inventing them, coming up with them, and and really fostering an environment where we can have more of those. Disseminating ideas, while important, is not really part of this sentence. For this blank, I would choose B for protect. So we want to protect original ideas, give them patents, and allow people to invent and have that motivation to continue to make new things. Looking at the first two blanks, we have the nation's growth and then the government's role. So let's take a look at the government's role in continuing innovation. Again, we want creativity, we want invention, and we want to promote that. So the three options are in addition to restricting, aside from supporting, and far from exaggerating. This is looking at blank number two, talking about research and the government's greatest role in assuring continuing innovation is promoting a strong modern patent office. Okay, so this is really just about figuring out what the relationship is between research and invention. Are we restricting, supporting, or exaggerating research? So if we take a look, it makes more sense that if we have more research, that that would lead to more innovation, more data, more ideas. Restricting doesn't make sense because if we restrict research, we restrict information, we don't fund studies, that actually leads people to have unanswered questions and ideas that they can't really develop. D doesn't seem like a good choice. Let's look at F. Far from exaggerating research, that doesn't really make sense either. I don't really know what it means to exaggerate research. And if I had to take a guess, I would guess that it means to make up fake information or fake data, which obviously doesn't help invention at all because you really want whatever you're making to work. So that leaves aside from supporting. And if you look at it, this does make sense because we want the government to not only support research, but also promote a strong modern patent office, and both of these things help continue innovation. The idea here is that we have the government doing both of these things, and choice E, aside from supporting, we have the support of research and the patent office that work together to promote innovation. 
looking at the first blank, we have been at the expense of, no bearing on, and come through. If we take a look at what that blank is again, we have Russell said that 52% of the nation's growth since World War II had blank invention. Thinking a little bit about that and also the fact that the rest of the paragraph is talking all about promoting innovation, having more information, more creativity, more data, more original ideas, it seems that we would want there to be more invention, right? We're citing data that shows that invention has been really good in the past. If we look at each of these answer choices, we have been at the expense of, which means that we either have one or the other. If we have growth, we don't have invention. If we have invention, we don't have growth. That is not what this paragraph is trying to say. This paragraph is really trying to promote both. It's trying to say we want more innovation, most likely because that also allows us to grow even more. A is incorrect. It's inconsistent with what the sentence wants to say. B says no bearing on, which means absolutely no relationship with. Again, the rest of this paragraph is all about how great innovation is and how we need more of it. Growth having no bearing on invention doesn't make any sense either because we're trying to draw a relationship between the two in order to get more people to support invention. And that's where answer choice three comes in. So come through. We have 52% of the nation's growth comes through invention. This makes a lot of sense because what we're doing is we're saying invention led to 52% of the nation's growth since World War II. And this makes a lot of sense in the context of the rest of the paragraph because we are promoting innovation. We're saying how great it is and that we need more of it. And the reason that we need more of it is because it helps the nation's economy grow and be really useful. So because we had so many blanks, it's really good to go back and read through everything with the answer choices that you've selected just to make sure that everything makes sense in context. So the full paragraph is this. Richard M. Russell said 52% of the nation's growth since the Second World War had come through invention. He said, aside from supporting research, the government's greatest role in assuring continuing innovation is promoting a strong modern patent office. Unless we can protect original ideas, we will not have invention, Mr. Russell said. Speculating on the state of innovation over the next century, several inventors agreed that the future lay in giving children the tools to think creatively and the motivation to invent. So looking through this, this absolutely makes sense. Each of the sentences build upon each other. We have the history of invention and how good it is. And then we had the government's role. We want the government to support research and to provide patents for those that come up with good ideas. And we want to protect those good ideas so that now and in the future, we can continue to have this pipeline of ideas and invention. Hopefully this illustrates this idea that you really want to read and reread long questions. They can be pretty confusing, so treat each blank as a distinct question if you're worried about timing and take that little bit of extra time to make sure that all of the blanks make sense with each other.
Don't forget also that sometimes you have to work backwards if you have a lot of good information in the latter half of a sentence. You want to use that and then go look at the previous blanks. If you're looking for more information on how you can actually implement these tips and tricks into getting a better score on your GRE, please visit alicechengre.com. I have more information about what it's like to work with me. For example, that I was patient and kind, I explained things to Sarah thoroughly and offered examples and tips. With Joshua, I gave him a better understanding of what he should work on to get over that 150 score that he was aiming for. I have more information about how private GRE tutoring works with me. For example, you can choose between writing, quantitative, and or the verbal section. I will give you a customized study plan with session agendas for each time we meet. I can provide sample questions, different study resources, do a content review, go over strategies and examples with you, and as always, I offer flexible payment and scheduling options. Thanks so much for watching.